Net zero. Low carbon. Carbon neutral. The low carbon economy is coming to Texas. But what does that mean for us? And what does that have to do with the Railroad Commission, the state oil and gas agency? Low carbon measures largely focus on carbon capture, use, and storage. CCUS, a technology that attempts to take carbon dioxide out of the air and inject it deep underground to reduce the amount of climate warming gases in the atmosphere. Congress has allowed big tax breaks for CCUS companies. That's prompting what one Texas senator called a mad dash for cash. Oil and gas lobbyists have been pressuring Congress to speed up permitting for carbon dioxide pipelines and storage wells. They've even proposed bills at the Texas legislature that would prevent lawsuits from people who are injured by CCUS facilities. Because of this, the Railroad Commission of Texas, our state oil and gas agency, is attempting to take control of permitting carbon dioxide injection wells to give companies more permits faster. However, the Railroad Commission already oversees pipelines and injection wells that are leaking and causing earthquakes, sinkholes, and well blowouts. Carbon dioxide injection also carries these risks. Plus, carbon dioxide leaks from CCUS facilities can acidify groundwater or cause suffocation. We need a state oil and gas agency that prevents pollution in the first place, instead of making Texas aquifers a dumping ground for industrial waste like carbon dioxide. To address global warming, the Railroad Commission could be stopping methane leaks from natural gas facilities, a huge source of climate warming emissions. And federal climate funds would be better spent on improving energy efficiency in homes, helping us save money, avoid carbon emissions, and stay safe and comfortable during extreme weather. Without strong oversight, the risks of CCUS can quickly outweigh the benefits. Texans deserve better. Join us to create a cleaner, safer energy future in Texas.